and, and, and if you think about uh, the oil and gas industry, you know, there's uh, increasing demand and, and they're going to be looking for oil and gas and increasingly challenging locations, um, geo geo geographies, and that actually just leads to more challenges for engineering. So there's increasing demand for people as well as an increase in demand for people who are attracted to, to solving these complex problems. You know, the consideration of all the different parameters that lead you to you know, ensuring that it's safe, that it's reliable, and that it's technically going to be robust and reliable. So every day, every day, on a regular basis, I'm faced with complex problems. And, and I think, you know, it's great to get a good salary, and, and I agree the oil and gas is attractive, the industry is attractive for that, but um, the, the, uh, the ability to do that every day is, is very attractive to engineering, right? Because there's nothing worse than giving an engineer the same thing to do over and over again. And, and I would say every day, you know, you, you know what you're coming into, but you don't actually know what they've done in the field, um, what they need to do, and uh, there's something very attractive for that. You're continually being asked to be innovative every single day of your life. That's, that's attractive. Yeah? Question for you, Bob. I wanted to know if there was... <laughs> I wanted to know if there's like any training from you or do you stop and you just kind of learn on your own? Both, both, right? Um, uh, if Daniel can probably tell you a little bit more about the Edison program. It's a very structured uh, training and development program for our young engineers in GE. Um, even myself, and, and, I'm, and I'm the, uh, I think I fall into the category of retiring workforce, right? Or I would like to. <laughs> But um, in essence, uh, when I started 20 years ago in the oil industry, I was their first graduate. They had been in, in Matrose in Scotland, they never had a graduate before. And they didn't really know what to do with me, right? And so they started developing the program at that time, 20 years ago. And to go from that to you know, where Daniel is today and how he's uh, being developed uh, you know, through four years, three, two years? Two years rotations. And So you know you can come in and you get a good foundation. You, you understand the company, the culture. You visit a lot of different businesses and teams within within the organization. But ultimately, at some point, you'll learn by doing. Right. So it's both. It's both. Thank you.